lovers, movie fanatics, and movie maniacs. So, Logan comes out next week. And I thought I'd give you guys my top X-Men films of all time. Um, yeah, I mean, 17 years, man. That's how long these X-Men movies have been going on for. Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart are finally hanging up their their costumes. I mean, they gave everything they had to these characters for 17 years. You know, they put it all on, all out on the table for the fans. And as a fan, you know, what I mean, I'm greatly appreciative of what they've done for, you know, the service of these these films. It's gonna be it's gonna be a sad day when I see that Logan on Thursday at seven o'clock. Very sad day. So. Let's dive into it. I'm gonna go with number nine. Yes. X-Men Origins Wolverine. That's going at number nine. That was probably the worst film. I mean, it was super just CGI, the story, everything didn't add up. I personally, I still say that it's not part of these X-Men films. <laughs> but yeah, that's number nine. Then I'm gonna go with number eight. Yes, X Men: The Last Stand. Um, I saw I saw this movie in in theaters as a kid, and you know I I thoroughly enjoyed it at the time as a kid. But now rewatching it, there's some shit that just is so corny as hell. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. That scene was god just bad, so bad. That casting for that role was horrible. But yeah, so number eight would be X Men: The Last Stand. And then, yo, man, y'all might be surprised with this one. Number seven, X-Men Apocalypse. Yes, X-Men Apocalypse. Um, just didn't do it for me. You know, at the time, I, I, did, saw, I did see it last year. Um, I enjoyed it until I rewatched it a couple more times. And I was just like, this isn't necessarily a good film. You know what I mean? I, just, I didn't like the way Apocalypse looked. He's supposed to be big, menacing, towering, frightening. Just didn't do it. I wasn't a big fan of the young cast either. So, just didn't do it for me, you guys. All right, that was number seven. Going to number six. X Men United. Yes, I liked this movie at the time. I thought this shit was dope as hell, and I still do think it's a good movie. That Nightcrawler scene at the beginning was fucking dope. Man, he was just choo, 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 kicking everybody's ass in the White House. Awesome movie. And also, I cried, I, I fucking cried so hard at the end of that movie. If you, Cause you know what I'm talking about. I know, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Where Jean sacrifices herself for the X-Men. I was a kid, I was <laughs> I fucking bawled in the theaters. Cried my ass off. So bad. Um, all right, that was, that was number six. And I'm giving it to, um, I don't know, man. I'm still debating on these two. The six and five, hold on up, hold up, nine. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. I don't know, you guys. I'm going with the Wolverine. Yes, the Wolverine. I thought was a big upgrade from the previous Wolverine movie. Obviously, um, it was different. They totally went with a different storyline based on the comic he was in Japan. Whooping ass out there. Um, the one thing I didn't like about the film was the th obviously the third act with the animantium um, last I forgot his name, last samurai whatever you want to call him. It just didn't do it for me, you know. Uh, but I did think Hugh Jackman did a good role. Um, I liked the fact that it was in Japan. I thought that was awesome. They explored something else. I thought it was fun. All right, up next, X Men. Yes, X Men is what? What's that? Hold on. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four. X Men is number four. Um, that was my first X Men movie, and everybody's first X Men movie. I fucking loved it. I still do like it. It's classic. Everybody in their black leather suits <laughs> that they can barely move around in. But yeah, I thought it was fun. Brian Singer did a good job. Um, it was something new and it was creative. Nobody's ever seen an X Men film. There's never been an X Men film done before. So this is like the Godfather right here, the original X Men cast. Twenty years from now, people are gonna be looking back on it, and be like, "Holy shit! Look how old this movie is." Yeah, motherfuckers, this is the original cast. 
Patrick Stewart, um, Hugh Jackman, Eve McLean, Halle Berry. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, number four for me. Then I'm going to give it up to First Class. First Class was good. Uh, it was a new breed of a new generation's X-Men films. I thought that was pretty cool. James McAvoy um, as Professor X. Then you have... Um, Fuck, what's his name? Is Magneto. I totally forgot his name. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me see his name real quick. Um, damn. Yeah, why is his name not up there? Michael Fassbender. <laughs> yes, Michael Fassbender. Um, they took on this shit and they ran with it. They did a great job with this first class. It was refreshing. It was good to see, you know, a young, bright cast that did extremely well. Um, I wasn't a big fan of Jennifer Lawrence. I never will be a fan of Jennifer Lawrence. It's just, uh, I think her acting is not up to par with everybody thinks she's, you know, great. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just not, it's not that good to me. But yeah, first class was dope, man. Kevin Bacon is the fucking villain. Got Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> then you got Beast. I thought Beast looked dope in this movie. Not a big fan of what he looked like in the rest of the films. But I felt like Beast, you know, looked top notch in this movie. And going to number two, you guys. Number two is X-Men Days of Future Past. What? What? Yes, I love this movie. Even the road cut. You haven't seen it? Clutch. It's good. I thought it was fun. It was great seeing the young cast and the, uh, the older cast come together and collaborate together to see how well they did. It was extremely awesome. I was fucking happy about this movie from start to finish. It was fun. You know, it was refreshing. It had that new feel to it. Everybody, you know, with the, the young cast, old cast coming together. And fucking, it was just good, man. I, the Sentinels, I thought it was a good story. You know, I haven't read the damn comic, but I'm pretty sure I'll read it pretty soon. X-Men Days of Future Past was number two on the list for me. And number one, of course, for now, Logan comes out this week, but is Deadpool. Deadpool is also a new breed of its kind. First rated R superhero film that we've never seen before. Slaunchy, just fucking... Ryan Reynolds did a fantastic job. Um, it was just the most comic book accurate character I've seen on the big screen ever. And it was fun. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, man. Deadpool was the first of its kind and not the last of its kind. But it did start the trend of rated R um, superhero films. So prepare to see more of that. And I'm glad that they're going that direction, making these films for, you know, 17-year-olds and above. It's important. You know what I mean? I feel like with, with these superhero films blossoming so quickly that it's okay to adapt to rated R films now. And Deadpool 2 comes out fucking like next year. They start production very soon this year. So I'm hyped for that. But that's number one for now until Logan comes out. Like I said, I'm catching Logan Thursday. I cannot wait. I'm super excited. I'm going to be super sad to see these fucking just... This original cast be gone, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty pretty sad, man. You know, because I honestly I grew up with these I grew up with these these characters. Um, they helped me get get me through some tough times. They gave me a sense of hope when you know whenever I watch these films. And it's gonna be crazy to see you know it's finally coming to an end 17 years later. But I appreciate everything that Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart have done for the roles. Comic book fans, fans, nerds. People like me and you guys, we just got to, you know, tip our hats and uh, say thank you, man. Thank you so much for what you've done for every single character you've played, role. I appreciate you guys, and I wish you luck in the future, whatever role you be taking on. But yes, Logan, so fucking hyped for that movie. Cannot wait, you guys. And there you have it, my top X-Men films. Of all time, you guys. Top X Men. Let's go. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Look at that, baby. It's beautiful. All right, you guys. I'm signing out. Peace. We out. We out. We out.